This idea that America is somehow on the verge of collapse, this vision of violence and chaos everywhere, uh, doesn't really jibe with the experience of most people. I mean, I hope people the next morning walked outside and the birds were chirping and the sun was out and uh, this afternoon people would be you know, watching their kids play in sports teams and go to the swimming pool and folks are going to work and getting ready for the weekend. And, uh, and in particular, I think it is important just to be absolutely clear here that some of uh, the, the fears that were expressed d throughout the week just don't jibe with the facts. So let's take two specific examples. When it comes to crime, the violent crime rate in America has been lower during my presidency than any time in the last three, four decades. And although it is true that we've seen uh, an uptick in murders and violent crime in some cities this year, the fact of the matter is, is that the murder rate today, the violence rate today, is far lower than it was when Ronald Reagan was president and lower than when I took office. We've just gone through a tragic period where we saw both you know, tragedy in, in Minnesota and Baton Rouge, and then uh, the insanity and the viciousness of people targeting police officers. Uh, and uh, we are all heartbroken by that, and we're all troubled by how we can rebuild trust, uh, support law enforcement, and make sure the communities feel uh, that they are uh, being fairly policed. But the fact is that the rate of intentional killings of police officers is also significantly lower than it was when Ronald Reagan was president. Now, those are facts. That's the data. When it comes to immigration, I think Americans expect that our immigration process is orderly and it is legal. And we have put unprecedented resources at our border. Well, it turns out that the rate of illegal migration into the United States today is lower by two-thirds than it was when Ronald Reagan was president. We have far fewer undocumented workers crossing the border today than we did in the 80s or the 90s or when George Bush was president. That's a fact. So the one thing that I think is important is obviously there are going to be different visions about where we should go as a country how we can provide jobs, how we can make sure that uh, our kids are able to get the education they need uh, to succeed in the 21st century. You know, how do we deal with our budget? How do we make sure our tax system is fair? How do we deal with very real issues around uh, growing inequality or wages that have not gone up as fast as we want uh, and the real pressures that uh, a lot of families feel? But we're not going to make good decisions based on fears that don't have a basis in fact. Uh, and, and that, I think, is, is something that I hope all Americans pay attention to. America is much less violent than it was 20, 30 years ago. And immigration is much less uh, a problem than it was not just 20, 30 years ago, but when I came in as president. That doesn't mean we haven't solved those problems, but those are facts. Um, 
I think that covers just about everything. Oh, you had some question about uh, my approval ratings being high and right track, wrong track. Being. I, I think if you look at uh, almost every year under every president over the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years, uh, you're, you're going to be hard pressed to find a year in which the majority of Americans thought we were on the right track. Maybe because uh, all the good things that are happening in America don't get reported on a lot. Uh, so I don't think that's actually unusual. Uh, but I appreciate you bringing up the fact that my poll numbers are doing okay.